Hi, this is Taylor from Summit RV. Today I'm looking at a brand new 2019 Imagine 3000 QB. This is a new floor plan from Grand Design that is a bunkhouse model. Summit RV, camping made easy. Summit RV vacation fun. We'll start on the inside first and take a look at the outside features later on. If you've been looking at Grand Design travel trailers before, you might recognize some similarities between this floor plan and the larger Imagine 3170BH. This floor plan has the same, basically the same front end. So you got a nice open living area with the TV right across from the theater seats. And you have a really big bathroom in the front. So if you're sleeping in the bunks, you can get to the bathrooms without disturbing somebody in the master bedroom. And then if you're sleeping in the master bedroom, you don't have to go all the way back close to the bunk room to use the bathroom. So that's what I really do like about the, the walk-through bath that they're using on a lot of their bunkhouse models. And right in here, you do see a true 60 by 80 queen bed with wardrobes on each side and a second door so you don't have to you know use the the rear door all the time possibly wake up the kids and this door is a lot closer to the bathroom as well let me show you the biggest feature in this trailer is the bunk room you got three bunks on this one a really large wide bunk on the bottom so maybe for your you know the, the largest kid of the bunch or even an adult down there and then for additional sleeping you have an l-shape bunk room up here and something pretty cool about this one too that you'll notice is we have one window two windows emergency exit and then your third and fourth window. Pretty cool that you got so many windows in your bunk room. That's something you have missing on a lot of a lot of bunk bed models out there. You have lights for uh, each one of the bunks. And then up top, you're gonna see beside that light has a USB uh, plug-in. And then down below you have regular 110. Uh, they've also packed some storage into the bunk room. You have seven drawers. And then you have five deep cubby holes back here. So you can keep some folded clothing and things like that. It's also ready for a TV in the bunk area. You got the uh, backer location and then connections up above. And all your grand design imagine trailers are going to have sliding doors instead of just a curtain. Back in the living area, you do have the theater seats with heat, massage, and light. A nice console here so you can store your remote for the TV and a few other things. Cup holders on each arm and then even one in the middle. Right here, you're gonna see a USB outlet so you can plug in a phone or an iPad. A U-shaped dinette with storage underneath it so you don't have to take off the cushions to get down to that storage your table on the uh, imagine is movable so it's not stuck down into the ground with posts and let me show you something that uh i think a lot of people forget the imagine does it's this uh, ottoman they put in the back you can take it out use it as a footrest or just if you want to make it into a normal dinette you can do it this way. All right, so I took the back piece out of the dinette and you can see now you have just a regular dinette. And there's your ottoman, so you can use that, you know, for whatever you want. You do have uh, storage underneath that ottoman, so you can throw some sinks in there. Point out there's a uh, 110 outlet down on the booth dinette, so you can plug in whatever you need. Across from the theater seats, you got the television 
uh, radio and your fridge. Down below you're going to see additional storage space. And you'll also notice this is a, a coat rack right here so you can remove this piece right here and, and hang some coats if it's that type of weather. The radio is a Bluetooth, uh, also a DVD player on this one, so they've not gone away from the DVD player. You can still bring your DVDs along. Back behind the TV, you have a nice little cubby hole there. Your main control station, so all your lights, um, tank meters, your water pump, gas and electric water heater buttons, Slide out buttons, awning buttons, all in one spot, not all over the trailer, which is nice. Down below you do have some coat hooks. And then below that you have a little dark there, but you do have a cubby hole down below to store your shoes. So as we make our way into the kitchen space, you have a gas and electric Dometic fridge. Down below you have another cabinet space and what people love about your Imagines. You do have dog bowls already in there for you. You can take them out if you need to clean them. Over here you have your Fury Furion uh, range. So you do have autopilot light, um, more cabinets in your kitchen area. Your Imagines do feature a countertop extension for some additional counter space. It does definitely come in use while you're out there camping. You have a farmhouse sink with the uh, stainless steel material. An extendable faucet hose there. You have 110 outlets right there. Then over here you do have another one window in the kitchen area you do have a light on that uh, vent hood fan and then a few cabinets up above in the bathroom you have a medicine cabinet up above More storage space down below. Your GFCI outlet right there. They give you a nice amount of counter space in the uh, bathroom as well. You're going to see that it, it stays with the uh, single piece countertop also. They don't go to a T-mold here, which is a nice quality feature. Over here you have a nice large shower with a skylight above. You have your porcelain foot flush toilet. Place to store your towel. Towels in these cubby holes. And like I was talking about earlier, you do have sliding doors instead of curtains. And you got a vent fan in here as well. Bedroom, like I was saying earlier, you got the 60 by 80 uh, queen bed. Cabinets up above instead of just a shelf. And then lights over top of the uh, bedroom. So you can read books or whatever. Whatever you like to do before bed. Up top, we have another vent vent cover here but as you can see it is prepped for a second air conditioner uh, this is 50 amp service so if, if you need a second air this is already wired for it you do have a tv location in the bedroom 
Underneath the bed, you do have some storage. It's got the gas struts on it, so you don't have to hold it up with your head or with your arm, so it makes it a lot easier to get. Each side of the bed has some uh, electric hookups, so you got some 110 uh, outlets on this side, and then um, USB outlets on that side as well. Over here, you just have your 110 outlets. All right, so we're back on the outside. You'll see you have nice large awning and put plenty of people underneath there. Your imagines do have the drop frame so you get additional storage in the front which is really great really big pass-through storage in the front you also have some motion sensor lights in your pass-through as well you have aluminum entry steps so they're not going to rust like uh, all steel ones would big grab handles on each entry door aluminum rims instead of your stills nice quality used there you do have an outside kitchen on this one too so you got your electric fridge right here two burner stove and then a place for water connection right here it comes with a water hose so you can spray off on the back you have a spare tire and what a lot of people like to see is it has a ladder on the back. This is a fully walkable roof so it is safe to get up there. You do have a backup camera prep on this also so all you got to do is plug in the backup camera and you're ready to go. On the imagines all of them are going to be laminated on your rear walls, your slide walls, on a lot of trailers out there you're going to see a hung wall. The uh, laminated wall is going to give you a consistent insulation over time where a hung wall the uh, fiberglass insulation can kind of settle near the uh, bottom and uh, can create gaps in your insulation later on down the road. Got a lot of windows as we saw on the inside but these windows are also aluminum framed so all the way around here, you got aluminum framing instead of just styrofoam, bead foam, uh, you actually have aluminum. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, check us out at summitrv.com or give us a call at 606-928-6795. Summit RV, camping made easy. Summit RV, vacation fun.